Hi, welcome to another launch box video. Uh, tutorial, this is based upon something I've just done myself with the, with the guiding help of ETA Prime and Unbroken Software for Launchbox. Obviously creating an, an Xbox One Classic games into your Launchbox. Uh, I'll start, but I'll run you through one or two things first. Uh, first of all, you need to get the emulator. Uh, cred to the author. The emulator is, uh, I'll put it on for you on the screen here. Sorry, I'm doing my work as well at the same time. I've just cracked it. So it's C CXBX uh, on the website there. Uh, there is a guy you can put a donation to. I would recommend it. I have, uh, yeah, install that into your, where you're keeping your hard drive and your, your launch box. I keep mine on an external. It asks you, do you want to go portable when you install it? Uh, so yeah, just unrar it or 7-zip, whichever one you use, and it'll all turn out like this. That's the main program you use, uh, not the debugger. Uh, you've also got to use, uh, you've got to have a 32-bit DirectX installed into it. So it's just a quick download. It's also giving you on the website, you download the emulator, just download that and install it on your, on your hard drive. But like I say, I keep mine portable. So off there. So once you've set that up, all you need to do is go to, uh, your launch box. Launch box next. Open your launch box. Now to put the emulator in, this is the process that I've used and I've seemed to have got results with it. Uh, um, it's early days for me, but I've got results. So what you need to do is go to tools, down to manage emulators. I've already added mine as you can see. What you need to do is click um, add for a new emulator even though mine's in uh, and it'll come up with a new box like this type in Microsoft Xbox so that's going to be the name here uh, or Microsoft Xbox classic whichever your choice is but remember that name you're gonna have to rename you use that name again so emulator path click on the browse select your CB CXBX reloaded uh, there click open I'm already doing it so I'm just gonna cancel it uh, put it in the path in there associated platforms remember what you called it I put in there Microsoft Xbox classic click default emulator and then click OK and that's the emulator side done for launch box but only just done for launch box so I'll close that down then next of all you need to import some some games obviously you know where to get those I'm not going to certainly tell you that uh, yeah, so you click on next. Once you've got your games in your folder, like I've got mine here, uh, I'll show you them very quickly, what I've done. Uh, yeah, with say Jet Set Radio Future, we'll use that one. This will come as default XBE dot XBE. All you need to do is right click, rename, click, copy. Where it says default, XBE, right click, rename, paste, jet set radio future dot XBE. They'll always be there, you don't need to erase that. That's perfect for how you'll start putting your games in. Uh, let's move on just in case I've forgotten anything. So, yeah, once you put your games in there, don't worry. I mean, Forza Motorsport, I've changed all mine, Conkers, I've changed all mine, so it's all good. Uh, but I'm on early days of just discovering this. So, yeah. So, first of all, what you need to do, exactly like you do a PlayStation 3 game or an Xbox game, the, the way I do it, import in, in the tab up top, ROM files. I might use Forza Motorsport while I'm here now. Uh, click up. Forza Motorsport, we use that there. Uh, click. Because I've changed the name of it to Forza Motorsport instead of default EXB. Click open. Click next. Microsoft Xbox Classic, depending on the list what you've called it. So I'm going to go down to Microsoft Xbox, which is there above 360. So click there. Click next. Choose an emulator. Remember what you named that. I've named it Microsoft Xbox, if you remember, as there. Click next. Leave the files as they are, search for the metadata, click next, 
If you've got an EMU Movies account, I highly recommend, free to use, also you can donate. But they're the best covers that you can get, etc. Game music, click next. Next. There it goes, as Forza, Forza Motorsport. That would have been in there, default XBE. But we've already changed it. Now it will be able to find all the covers, click finish. You will need to map your controller as well for the emulator. There you go, one game found. It's going to find all its covers. Looking very good, Forza Motorsport. But the key thing to this is remember, change the name of the default XBE to the game name. And that way you'll see, always see it in a launch box like this. And that's what will start the program. Right, so I'll just click game briefly to start one up. Jet, jet set radio. I'm looking forward to having a go at this, so I'll play this one. It comes up with that. Don't worry about that because you've changed the name from default. Do you want to continue? Click yes. I've already set mine to full screen. Great. Welcome to the, the greatest thing that we've all been waiting for for, over, for nearly 20 years, a Microsoft Xbox Classic emulator games. There are so many fantastic things. I'm going to spend the next few hours downloading and installing stuff. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please subscribe, hit the like button. Any questions, I promise I'll answer as best I can. Uh, there is a compatibility list on the gentleman's website i've got to give all those people credit plus eta prime and broken software without them i would never have got this far with most of the consoles i've got uh yeah so what we'll do is we'll leave it there we can see the game you will have to configure your controller but you can do that in the emulator file all right i'll press start new game I remember playing the Dreamcast one, I've no. never played this one. I'm really looking forward to this. I will be spending the next few hours downloading games. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. Flawless. Oh, amazing. I've got to give a big shout out to my brother for this, because he's, he's mad on this game still. So, Adam, this is for you. Oh, I do like this. I will be. I'm going to get busy now downloading games. So I'll press escape to quit the game. Uh, and I think I'm going to spend a bit of time downloading now. So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see you soon.